major bridge in Christchurch has been lifted to make way for the earthquake repairs to the foundations underneath. The industry is watching and the innovative engineering system being used is likely to be replicated in other countries. Juliet Speedy reports. This new Brighton bridge was badly damaged in the Christchurch earthquakes. The top of the bridge was OK, it was the foundations that were ruined. So Fulton Hogan and Skirt needed to find a way to lift the top of the bridge so they could fix it. It's a very complex uh, job and um, there's a lot of variables. The computerised hydraulic lifting system controls the lift and last night the team successfully pulled the 1,600 tonne weight of the bridge up by around 150 mils. We're powering 72 100 tonne hydraulic rams uh, giving us about 7,200 tonne of lifting power. That means this whole bridge has been lifted, allowing these large concrete foundations to now be completely moved and replaced before it's lowered back down. The Christchurch earthquakes have forced some real innovation to take place, and this unique and complex bridge lifting method is now likely to be replicated across New Zealand and Australia. It is a, a showcase uh, sort of job, uh, and we have had, uh, we're starting to get a lot of interest uh, about the equipment that we have here. The equipment used for this bridge alone is worth around a million dollars, and so far has proved highly successful. The bridge has largely remained open as one lane while the work's taken place over the last few years because it's needed as a major thoroughfare and also an escape route should there ever be a tsunami. Juliet Speedy, 3 News. <laughs>